Now solid bag, something that I've used most of this winter, well pretty much all of this winter, and I've caught some mega, mega carp off of the back of it. I'm running through from the hook bait, that is a 10 mil PB pop-up, and then I've got bunch of maggots, bunch of reds sat on top of there. A wide gate beaked hook, now it's barbless here, so it's a barbless hook that is. Now I've finished it off with a little bit of shrink tubing, it's got a little bit of a kick to it. And then in the centre there, I've got a nice big blob of putty. Now the lead set up, that is the rig, sort of comes out from the centre of the lead, so they're feeling the full weight as that goes into the fish's mouth instantly. And what I tend to do as well is obviously coil the actual rig up when it's sat inside the PVA bag, which then, once the fish gets near the rig, there's plenty there to go right into the back of the mouth and you get a great hook hold off of it. Now, what you'll notice with the insect powder, something a little bit different that I've done over down that little canal section, because there weren't so many birds about, like i.e. loads of tufties, loads of coots like there is out in front here, what you don't want to do with that insect meal is leave it dry in the bag so that obviously when it explodes to the surface, all that's going to do in your open water spots or if you've got a lot of wildlife about is attract the birds to your PVA bag. It's all right down little areas or if you're stalking, it's really what you want to do. But for out in these open water spots, it's not ideal. So what I do is put a little bit of the insect meal inside a bucket and then use some of our liver extract liquid. It's quite a thick liquid that, so you sort of put three blobs in there. And then once you actually mix the powder around it, it just gives that powder a little bit of weight, which means then it won't explode up through the water columns, attracting all the birds into your area. It will keep, obviously, that insect meal down on the deck all around your hook bait, just adding that little bit more of attraction around that all important hook bait. So that's a look at the setup on all three rods. So I need to crack on now, get these rods out into the pond, fingers crossed, and get ourselves one or two.